Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the evolution of HTTP. So let's go to the search bar here. We're going to type in evolution. And we'll click on evolution of HTTP as a brief description of changes between the early versions. Okay, so let's click on this one. And let's go down to evolution of HTTP. Okay, so invention of the World Wide Web. So in uh, 1989, while he was working on Kern, Tim Berners-Lee wrote a proposal to build a hypertext system over the internet, initially calling it the Mesh. It was later renamed the World Wide Web. During it, during its implementation in 1990, built over the t existing TCP/IP protocols, it consisted of four building blocks. Okay, a textual format to represent hypertext documents. So hypertext markup language, which is HTML, a simple protocol to exchange these documents, hypertext transfer protocol, so HTTP, and then a client to display and accidentally, and accidentally edit these documents. The first web browser called World Wide Web, a server to give access to the document, an early version of HTTPD. These four building blocks were completed by the end of 1990. The first servers were already running outside of the Kern by early 91. On August 6, 1991, Tim Berners-Lee post on the public, alt.hypetext news group is now considered as the official start of the World Wide Web as a public project, okay? So the HTTP protocol used in these early phases was very simple, later dubbed HTTP 0.9, and sometimes as the one-line protocol, okay? HTTP 1.0, building the extendability, okay? Um, versioning information is now sent within each request. HTTP 1.0 is appended to the Git line, okay? So the HTTP 0 0.9 was very limited and both browsers and servers quickly extended it to be more versatile, okay? And then they had 1.1, the standardized protocol. So in parallel to somewhat, somewhat chaotic use of diverse implementation of HTTP 1.0 and since 95, well before the publication of HTTP 1.0 document the next year, proper standardization was in progress. The first standardization version of HTTP 1.1 was published in early 97, only a few months after HTTP 1.0. So 1.1 clarified ambiguous and introduced numerous improvements. A connection can be reused, saving the time to reopen its numerous times to display resources. Pipelining has been added, allowing to send a second request before the answer for the first time. First one is fully transmitted. Chunk responses are now also supported. Additional cache control mechanisms have been introduced. Content negotiation, including language, encoding, or type, has been introduced and allows a client and server to agree on the most adequate content to exchange. Thanks to the host header, the ability to host different domains at the same IP address now allows server co-location. Co okay. More than 15 years of extension. <laughs> Thanks to ex extendability, creating new headers or methods is easy and even in even if the HTTP 1.1 protocol was refined over two revisions, published in June of 99 and published in June of 2014, in the provision of the release of HTTP 2, this protocol has been extremely stable for over 15 years. So the idea here is, is that <clears throat> even though over time they've made some changes, it's extremely stable and a very good um, protocol to use. Okay, so that is the evolution of HTTP. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.